Hi, and welcome. I'm so glad you found my channel. My name is Erin, and on my videos, I show you how to create DIY bath and beauty products. So let's go ahead and get started with this week's video. On today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a DIY herbal body oil. This is great for beginners and feels really soothing for dry skin. So let's go ahead and get started. When it came to creating this body oil, I really wanted something that would come together quickly and would be easy for those just starting out, but I also wanted something that would combat redness and inflammation and dry skin. So the first ingredient that I will be adding to my beaker today is going to be grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is great because it contains vitamin E and it helps to hydrate the skin along with helping to reduce any redness or inflammation. Next, I'll be adding some meadow foam seed oil. This is effective because it helps to balance the skin's natural oil production. This next ingredient is really important. It's vitamin E. It helps to protect the cells of your skin. It's a great antioxidant and it helps to prolong the shelf life of the other ingredients. This next step I do for a few minutes just because I want to make sure that all the oils that I've added are nicely combined. Before pouring my oils into my container, I will be adding some dried flowers. The first one I'll be adding is lavender. Lavender is great because it helps to soothe irritation and reduce inflammation, but it also has a beautiful scent as well. Next, I'll be adding some rose petals. They're high in vitamin C and they help to retain moisture in the skin. And I do love the nice floral scent that roses have. Time to go ahead and pour the remaining ingredients in my bottle. I am using a spray bottle. At least for me, it makes for easier application on the skin. And then once I have finished pouring everything into my bottle, I'll give it a good shake. And that just helps to kind of break everything up and disperses it throughout the body oil. Here is the finished product. And what I like about adding the flowers to this is that each and every time I use it, it smells better and better. Once again, here is the formula for the herbal body oil that I created today, along with any substitutions. Now, as you can tell, there were only a couple of substitutions that I would recommend, but um, this end product turned out beautiful and I love the way that it feels. So thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more DIY formulas, don't forget to like and subscribe.